Hey YouTube, this is Bluebird7497 here and I'm back with another tech video. Um, in this video I'm just going to be taking a quick look at uh, some uh, some new features or a new feature that was added in CyanogenMod Mod 10 uh, for the Nexus S. So we'll go ahead and go into About Phone and we'll take a look at the version. Now I just installed this so there are no G apps um, but the uh, build date is Sunday, November 4th. Um, and the signage pod version is November 4th, uh, right there. So, um, I'm not using this as my daily driver anymore, so I can't uh, really comment um, on how well it works. Um, I, do no uh, I did notice, though, right off the bat, that they have uh, disabled you to, from being able to press idle stats. Um, before in earlier builds, you could at least press idle stats, but you'd get a force close anyway, but... Um, as you can see here, they've disabled that option. Um, in system, there isn't anything new that I can really see. Uh, I did just install this though, so there might be things um, that are new. But uh, the main thing I wanted to talk about was the new file manager app. And as you can see, like I mentioned, I don't have any G apps here. <clears throat> but uh, I may switch back to this as my daily driver. Like I said in previous videos, if you have any ROMs you want me to check out, um, or do you know maybe hands-on with go ahead and leave it in the comments um, but here they've added a new file manager app um, so you don't have to go through and install uh, something like maybe Astro uh, file manager or uh, I believe ES file manager things like that right here we have uh, this app allows you to explore the file system and do operations that could break your device so I believe this comes with uh, abilities to change not only the SD um, possibly more than the SD card though um, I haven't used it before. So here we have here uh, at the bottom left, we have this little uh, eight dot ar array of buttons. Um, and we have some actions here. So we can refresh properties, new folder. We can check out the properties of the uh, whatever folder we're in. Permissions, we can change permissions around. Um, now we have a little clock down here for history, um, bookmarks. We can see different bookmarks that we have of, of certain folders. Um, it also gives us sort of a, a a view of how much space we have left on the SD card in that way. Um, if we click that arrow, we can be brought to this view list of showing folder list. Um, icon, simple, or details. So let's go ahead and click that, and you can see it changes to, changes to this icon mode, uh, simple. When you hit simple, it just changes back. And in detail, it changes, and you can see a little bit more detail about each folder. Um, now, A to Z does probably what it what it it says. You can change the sort order. Um, <clears throat> now, if we go ahead and hit the menu button, we br we brought to settings. We have general settings here up at the top. Use case sensitive sorting, disk usage warning, compute folder stats, access mode, just some basic settings, and then some options for how you want to use, uh, how you want to search for um, <clears throat> things. So it's real simple, um, you know, not too much to it. Whoops, but it is a, a great addition to uh, any any ROM out there, um, especially signage mod for it being such a, uh, a popular ROM. We can see all the downloads here. Um, so that's pretty much it, and I, I'm assuming, uh, but it would be safe to say you can use this, you know, to start, install your APKs. Uh, maybe you want to take a look at your ROMs that you have installed. Um, if you download them straight to your phone, they'll be in the downloads folder here. So uh, it'll be a little bit easier to manage files, and uh, you won't need to go through a third-party file uh, manager, like I mentioned earlier, such as Astro or maybe um, ES uh, File Manager. But uh, that's it for this ROM uh, review, or um, more like a quick overview on the file manager. Thanks for watching, and um, if you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Subscribe, and a few uh, things to note. Um, I, I have a new Google Plus page, um, which will be down below. So go ahead and add me there, and you can keep up to date with certain things that I post that may not be on YouTube. Um, leave a comment if you have anything to suggest. <clears throat> and uh, last thing, uh, video quality will be getting better, because as you can see, it's a little blurry, and my videos have been like that. It's my iPod Touch 4th gen right here. Um, but I'm uh, working on getting my hands on a Nexus 4, so that's probably going to be what I'm recording with. And uh, if everything goes well, it'll look better. All right, enough. But
blabbing. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.